Hey guys, welcome to Fell Play Presents. My name is John, and today I have a special guest on the channel that, you know, it's not Josh. Uh, it's my sister, Megan, and she's going to play Tony Hawk with us. Hi, thanks for having me. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, okay, so if you listen to our last little podcast, we said that I was going to get my sister to come on the channel and, and experience this game because uh, she enjoys the heck out of it or from all these years. And so this new little, like, I guess, um, re remastered version is really fun. And so I wanted to get Megan to come and experience it. So, Well, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to play. Um, I hope this goes well. <laughs> you feel so unsure. Um, it's because I haven't played, like, I'm not really a heavy gamer or anything like that. So I... Yeah. I hope my my arthritis doesn't act up during <laughs> oh, the gameplay. Oh, yes. My fingers were already starting to hurt when I started playing this at first, too. And I play like, a lot of games, so if your fingers are like that, just let me know. I just want to show people first uh, that I did create some sk skaters for me and Josh, because I'm very bored in our quarantine world. So this is what Josh would look like if he just did drugs for the next 20 years. <laughs> He's very skinny. Uh, <laughs> look at his like thin legs. <laughs> I think it's funny. Uh, but yes, like I, I worked with this uh, with Josh. He, he watched it over a stream, and then uh, and, he, and he he approves. So um, and then I want to show the other guy, like this is me with my signature blue hat that you know my bird has, and uh, yeah, that's like totally something I would wear. I, have, I usually wear ripped jeans <laughs> and a hoodie and a blue hat. <laughs> so, we're gonna make Megan's character now. Okay, I I'm really gonna care. put my little nickname, which is already here, strangely enough. Oh yeah, it's not like it's not like we did this before. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> we not at up, all. Then, then I messed up the recording and we have to do it again. No, I didn't do that. Of course not. Yeah. So is okay, that goofy? yeah. What I is that oh, wait, what you that's skate? What that's I how you skate, yeah. right? Okay. And I put never Mongo, whatever that is. Yeah, I actually like that they give you the visual guides because some people don't know what that those mean. Okay, so what we're gonna do is let's first start on your face, like we're your gonna start on my face. face. Yeah. Wow. So we got like the. Nothing looks like a pixelated robot face anymore. No. It's not what, like, that game was it, Fortnite or Minecraft or whatever it's called? Minecraft? Minecraft? Yeah, not Fortnite. Where everything's pixelated? <laughs> you know, like, they, they've recently made a trailer of Minecraft where it looks really amazing with some graphics cards. I'll have to show it to you because it's not the same game. Uh, but. I'm going to go ahead and pick this face but i need to adjust it which the skin color or everything oh you can't really adjust it no you, you just you just get to select the faces i did select this one yeah so press r2 oh yeah yeah then you can start you can change it. yeah are you the, are you like like the We're color do this. as Very white light. as a sheet color <laughs> skin color Let's Ooh. See. I have the Davy Havoc hair. The Karen hair, oh, you mean? Seen, seen it's a little, like a, it's a little too close to Karen, I, I, like a Karen. Let's see. What about this? What is this? Oh, that's a. Uh, what's your favorite? Who's that? Who's that rock star that wears the hair like that? I don't know. Oh, Harley Quinn. <laughs> I what I just noticed is because we of course didn't do this this already. Of course not. Is that that the, your previous hairstyle is already saved? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> what? What? It's already there. Um. Okay. I like that though. And I'm gonna do green eyes. Yeah, so I really like my hairstyle. I would really love this color in real life. So since it's a video game, I can wear my hair anyway. I yeah, want. it's a little bit of um, you know, be the be the positivity you want to see in life, or 
<laughs> manifest that energy. Yeah. So I love like these makeup options. Yeah. It's a little bit between like kiss it's and juggalo. It's customizable. <laughs> But I'm no, gonna go for right. a traditional red lip because yeah. that's how I look in real life. Like I love a red lip. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna skip on the facial hair, hair today. Um, I might I mean, come no, back no later. No judging, you know. If you want to work with yeah. your facial hair, I, I mean, <laughs> I I'm gonna skip on that today. So I look pretty badass. I don't like baggy pants. Why? Oh. Baggy pants are awesome. <laughs> oh look, there's some. Oh, nice. skinny jeans in the black color. That's nice. Yeah. So I'm going to pick these. You weren't going to go for the sweatpants? No. <laughs> and then we're going to go take, you know, try on a different top. Yeah. Should I match my brother? I, I always liked Zero because it had the skeleton or the skull. Like, uh... Like, growing up, I was always into, like, skulls and shit. Oops, wait, Oops. wait, wait, wait. Triangle. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, you want to go back to the, back to the skate shop. So you're going to press R2. I will say... The the menus are a little confusing. Like, they to me, I should they should have just had an option to let you go into the skate shop through that menu. Or, yeah, the skater. Instead of... I don't know. That's where I, that's just like a little minor criticism. Uh, I'm gonna do a Thrasher hoodie. <laughs> Shout out to all the people who think that because you read Thrasher magazine, you're a poser. Um, I, I think it's. I think it was just that. I think style? it's just. I think it's just. Oh, I I gotta wear the shirt because that's what it means to be a skater. You know, we're wearing the, you're wearing the clothes of it or something because that was the joke on Reddit. Well, tough luck. Um, I'm gonna wear Vans. Ooh, I, I, wear, I wear these to work sometimes. Yeah. In real life. And, man, they're one of the most comfortable shoes. And then you could dress them up or dress them down however you want to wear them. And I think it's great. Yeah. I really love, like, the, the detail to them. They have, a, like, they look like Vans shoes. Yeah. Like, they, they even have the... Like the little tags in the right place and everything. I like that. I like that detail. And I'm going to pick. Oh, that's all locked up. I haven't unlocked those yet. I thought I w there was a skateboard. Oh, wait, I'm confused. Yeah, it's okay. There's a skateboard here. Oh, Kareem. <laughs> It was the Santa Cruz one, I think, right? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know about. what we're talking about, no. Gonna make it a little dirty. Yeah, you're gonna slide it on the curb to make it look a little like like you, you work or you've done, done a little skating. Yeah. That's the true poser way, right? It's the only way I know. Is my controller... No, my controller is because I have it connected, but now it's not. Cause... Oh, those are nice. I like the wheels. Okay, so oh, then I have to You're make sure ready? my voice. Oh yeah, yeah. Oops. Oops. Go back to skater. Yeah. Press X. Hey. So you want to press triangle to preview them. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. That's you. If That's you pick the last one, we need to have a conversation. Like anybody who picks this one, we need to have a conversation. I picked I picked the the second one for my the, character. The third one seems like more like my tone of voice. Yeah. So we'll see. <laughs> Are you gonna have that as your grip tape, all sliced up and stuff? Oh yeah, you're right. I don't want that one. It's not my style. This is my style. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. So I think we didn't do this. Uh, well, of course we didn't do this. Ooh, the first tattoos. Time. Oh, yeah. Should well, I get a face tattoo? You totally can. Oh my god. Wow. That's dramatic. Wow. This is kind of cool, actually. Kind of is. I like the little cat. My, maybe not on my neck if I ever. Okay. Got, like, why am I wearing these heart-shaped boxers <laughs> under here? <laughs> 
Every character wears those boxers. <laughs> I feel like those boxers and your your skinny jeans would not like mesh well. Like they would just get bunched up. You know what I mean? You get all poofed out on your legs. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna skip on the tattoos for okay. now. Okay, yeah. Do you remember any of these levels back when, uh, 20 well, years ago? yes and no, because <laughs> I'm sorry, you but those yeah. these are just so, like, <laughs> high definition or it, It's true. Like, that it, I, they look brand new. It, it's true. I, like, even the warehouse, that the way they did the oh, warehouse. Oh, cool. Starting out with the bail. <laughs> Uh, even the warehouse, like the the famous first level, is if you go back and look at it, it's so dingy and dark, and the way they made it look like in this game is really cool. Um, lighting is really well done, everything. Um, yeah, I'm really I'm really enjoying this game, getting a little bit of nostalgia, and then also like. The lighting yeah. is better. I don't even know if that makes any sense, but I feel like I can see in the game. <laughs> no, it does because I mean, uh, back in the back in the PS One days, there was like a lot of memory issues with these old games. Like, so uh, they would do um, they'd have like high concepts, right? But like the memory the memory of the game would make you only have, be able to see like you know, so so little bit in front of you, so there would be like this kind of fog, you know, in, in, in a lot of the game, like a lot of these games. So if you go back to, to the PS1 version of this game, there's just like fog everywhere because of that. Um, there's like a famous game that made itself famous on it called Silent Hill. Mm -hmm. Because they, because they had like limited, um, limited um, like ability to get like the whole city uh, when you could see it so it was just like all filled with fog so then when you're uh, you know so it makes it creepy looking and they really took advantage of that in those games so how do you feel about the controls I feel like it's a smooth ride yeah. um, you know, we got this little rumbling action on it, but it's not where, like, my hands are going numb from it being excessively shaky and vibrating, if yeah. you know what I'm saying. Because I feel like sometimes that can be a little overpowering. That's true. Uh, that is a, a very true. Like, back in the the old days, going back to that, uh, the when they started putting in, um, like, rumble support and stuff, it was just, it was just, like, Blah, like it was just like very just crazy. It would just shake, you know. And uh, nowadays, they would they've um, decided that like, hey, why don't you know? Like it's gonna be like adaptive role. Like it's it's more it's more uh, advanced than that, you know. Now it's um, just like I guess like it can be used subtly or you know different ways. It's really cool. And the new PS Five is apparently having more of that. Yeah, like I, I don't know if you've played you've played your Switch recently, right? Like yes. So I don't know if, if Link's Awakening, because you've been on that recently, um, has uh, any ro uh, rumble support? Does it? Um, I think like it do does have a little. I you know what? I'm drawing a blank because yeah. honestly, sometimes when I'm playing that game, I'm just so like focused on what yeah. I'm doing in the game, I, I sometimes don't even notice. Like, I'm yeah. kind of, like, disassociating while I'm <laughs> playing. Or not even, because I'm just really focused on it. Like, that game, um, I'm actually surprised by my abilities to play it. Like, I really have been able to concentrate yeah. long enough to understand that it's a puzzle game. And, you know, I love puzzles and figuring things out so um not to go on a rant about that Zelda game but I feel really <laughs> proud of my abilities but I I don't notice it I just think that it's not like like I said before about this game it's not it doesn't make my hands hurt or you yeah. know yeah me out of my focus either yeah. that's it's another thing about those games like stuff like that can really throw me out of what I'm concentrating on. Yeah. 
No, I, just, I know what you mean. Um, but yeah, I'm, like it's kind of cool hearing you like starting to play uh, Link's Awakening, kind of just because you know quarantine's been bo like boring us, and so uh, y you're getting yourself into a different kind of experience than you've really been used to. Yeah. And so it's kind of cool. I'm like that's why I was like, you know, it'd be fun, kind of fun, getting you on the channel, getting you to play this game, and you know, something from your childhood. And then Link's Awakening was something from my childhood. So it's been cool seeing you kind of experience it. Like you're like, oh, this boss did this thing, you know, and like, and you come up and tell me about it, and <laughs> it gets it gets really excited, honestly, because it's like that, you know, it's like oh, yeah, I'm like hearing you getting into video games you know and and it's like something and i mean i never felt like oh like video games are for nerds and losers or whatever i'm not like that kind of person yeah. it's just like i know that it takes a certain kind of like concentration and some some games require you to have like you know time yeah and i just feel like I'm always like I'm not somebody who can sit still and just like play through but oh, now yeah. I feel like <laughs> it's it's become an addiction so what I do at well, night careful I'm like, with that <laughs> yeah don't be like me kids go outside and yeah. have a chance um <laughs> like I I've been you know what I've been doing I've been watching like a garbage tv show in the background yeah and then while I'm listening to the garbage TV show, I'm playing my game. Yeah. And it's really kind of like relaxing. It, it is to I not totally. Not stressful at all. Like I'm trying to not be stressed out and like not even um, like have too many negative things going on at once yeah. right now. Like um, I am aware of all the issues and the kind of crazy... Um, a lot of the things that are going on in yeah. in the world, I don't want to focus too much on those right now. But, um, you know, but at the same time, I have the right to take time for myself and watch a garbage TV show and yeah. play my game. And I really, it's really therapeutic. And the thing is, I I can get myself in trouble with it mainly because. <laughs> I lose track of time. Yeah, and see, that's something I kind of love about video games is that, I mean, there it's it could be a double-edged sword like you're talking about with all oh, the addiction of it. Um, you know, you w always want to be careful with that and mind where you're at. Yeah. I've I've taken months off from trying to play video games as much as uh, I do usually before uh, because I'm just like I can get myself playing hours of it, you know, and. I've avoided certain games because I know I can get addicted. I remember playing, um, I got a tutorial, not tutorial, a trial version of World of Warcraft back when they used to use a subscription or whatever they do. But I used to, I once got it and, um, and for five days I was basically playing it like probably close to like 15 hours a day, you know, and, yeah, it's and, slippery slope. and so. The only reason why I stopped, because it's a 10-day trial, but for some reason our, our computer just stopped recognizing it. It just didn't want. It wanna, did you a favor. It did me a favor. It was like, yo, bro, like. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're, you're never gonna leave this chair. So, uh, um, and and so and that can get dangerous. But like you're saying, also, I think um, there is you do have the right to get to a little bit of escapism if that's the word you want to use but you know like being able to to de-stress because of it especially with what we're going through that's why i just think it's so interesting is like oh you, you know we're going through um this tough thing and you know for everybody but we're getting you know you get you're getting your chance to open up to different opportunities you know different different uh things that you, that you would normally not do and because it's been stressful you know just and so um so for me it's kind of exciting because video gaming has always been a thing for me but now i get to kind of like share it with you a little bit and and yes i did start it started off by playing animal crossing <laughs> and because of that honestly like to to continue with that like stress thing 
Um, Animal Crossing is really like low stress. Yeah. I think the most stressful part about it is the fact that like I try I buy I have started to buy a lot of turnips oh, yes. because I've been coming up with that coin. <laughs> so um, you know I'm trying to invest and the only way I can Careful be a millionaire in real. Oh. Oh. You know when I felt that. I felt <laughs> oh that. my god. Damn. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the only way I can become a millionaire is in Animal Crossing, so... Yeah. But, um, like... Hey, you never know. Dreams, you know, don't let your dreams be memes, right? <laughs> you say don't let your dreams be memes? Yeah, what, what does the what does the guy say, Shia LaBeouf say? I don't know, John. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> um, anyway... Yeah. <laughs> Going back to that conversation, yeah. um, I did um, meet a lot of people through Animal Crossing. Well, like my friends, two, a couple of my friends were in an Animal Crossing group chat, and I ended up becoming uh, a part of it. And it's been really great, like just learning different things, um, like about gaming with them. Some even have their own little gaming Instagrams and um, they That's like cool. other things too. So it was good to be able to connect with other people and they like other things besides gaming. So, um, you know, learning how to trade stuff with them, creating our own little kind of community yeah. um, where we could safely trade and buy stuff from each other's islands or share our turnip prices um so yeah and i really liked the community part of it too because like it it does get lonely when you can't really go anywhere and yeah. not saying that i would go out every night or every weekend no but, but you have you you lost that yeah kind of that community and so now you're refinding it through a different medium yeah so i'm I'm trying to like try new things and that I think that's the time this is the time for it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And I said to myself, if I don't like the switch, I'm pretty sure I could find somebody who'd buy it off of me because it took me forever to find my switch. Like to yes. buy one. Oh yes, because during the beginning of this whole thing, everyone bought up all the switches. And so mm -hmm. it was just it was just insane. And then I I was like trying my best to find one for you and trying to get get a hold of people that, that didn't want theirs and everybody's like, well, no, I need it because, oh my god, that was so... That was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> don't even know what happened there. I don't know what I'm doing. It's because okay. you're holding the R2 button as you as you you go up the ramp. And so that, that like re-angles your character. Look at what a badass team here. Even though you didn't want to play your character. <laughs> uh oh, Bob Burden Quest got a ring on his finger. In this oh, game. does he? Yeah. Oh. Times be changing. Fancy. Yeah. Man, how old is he now? I don't even know. 50s, I guess? I don't know. What? Okay, so what did you want to play on? Look at, wanna... I'm, I'm Bob Burden Quest's protege. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> 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 Man, this song makes me wish I was at a ska show. Man, I wanna go see him. They still play, right? Well, they're not playing now, I guess, but... Uh... My score's 360 and it's gonna stay that way. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. I can't even like comprehend this level right now. Yeah, no, this actually this this level I'm dizzy. This level is worse in split screen. <laughs> wow. I really know how to choose them, don't I? I think you did this on purpose to embarrass me. I'm no, I did it to embarrass myself, really. I I never I never think about her uh, embarrassing others like that. Unless it's Wait, Josh. Wait, I'm still in the beginning of it. Jesus. <laughs> Unless it's Josh. Yeah. You gotta embarrass him. He's gotta be ashamed to be my friend. No. <laughs> you ever? Did, were you ever like that? When and like like when you were growing up, like it was weird to say that you were you were friends with your friends. 
Do you know what I mean? Like, it was always such this thing, like... You're like, oh yeah, that's my friend, I guess. Yeah, like, you're like, I guess we're friends. Even though you've hung out with them for, like, a year every day. Oh, that's... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Like, that, it's that so was so a... weird how I met, met people in high school. Like, we just, like, were like, oh, like, my first friend, Liza... Yeah. She's like, out. I saw you signing up for school the same day as me, and that's how we became friends. And in fact, she, I'm like texting her right now about coffee creamer. Oh my god, rolls. <laughs> so coffee creamers. She literally just asked me, does your stomach hurt when you eat this? <laughs> when you drink a certain one? <laughs> Oh my god. No? Oh, yeah. You're like, remember when we were 14 and you take on the world? You could eat Cheetos at 7, or Flaming Hot Cheetos with uh, nacho cheese at 7 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> we could make one bottle of water last all day at work tour in the middle of summer. <laughs> that was one of our other conversations, by the way. Oh, that's so funny. We're like, we're really missing those days when we were out in 110 degree weather just for warp Tour. Yeah, and now we can't even... Like, and now do... I won't, like, accept not having air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, coffee creamers. What is it? Uh... I'm gonna not... Yeah, like my like. I'm just gonna drown. I remember like finally like saying to, to like every like it's I think it must be a guy thing maybe this whole thing of like we yeah, can't call no, each other I, friends. That's it was that's, like obvious you and Josh were friends, and then you're like Josh is like one of my best friends. I'm like what? That was, huh? Really? Yeah. And that was like no. not even it in high school. I don't. I think I only knew of Josh after. Didn't I meet really? him like one time? You no you. you I felt like I met him on graduation day for you. you. No no you you had well I think you have met him because remember when when I first started high school and I was like not knowing anybody and I was just like wallflowering with your friends. Oh yeah. And so then then uh, um, Josh was like literally my first like one of my first friends at high in high school. <laughs> And um, and it was only because he he asked me if if I had a locker, and uh, and so somebody helped me get another locker or get a locker myself, but because uh, you gotta have a locker partner when you were in freshman year, but somebody showed me how you could trick that trick the system, and so I had one myself. But then I was I told Josh I was like no no I'll let you share mine. So you don't have to go through the process of that. So then that's how we became friends. I loved, I think most of the time I was, I, I, I think I always shared the same lot. Like I feel like my locker buddies were the same people <laughs> for the yeah. most part, which was my friend Sam. And then I don't know who else. And then sometimes there would be people that would just put their books in my locker because it was just easier for everybody. Yeah, I think... Uh, you give up after a certain point. Yeah. You know who your friends are and eventually... Yeah, I always, used, I always had Josh as a partner until... I think senior year where we didn't need partners, right? Something like that? I don't remember. I forget. I feel terrible because I'm almost like close to being the, the thing in your... <laughs> you're, you're still at 22,000. <laughs> I don't like this thing. I feel dizzy. No, I, I don't like it either. Several it's, times. it's not fun. It's never been my. I, like the other day, I don't know if you were watching me just play. Leave it like this. Oh my god! Don't. <laughs> I don't, don't want to give the, anybody watching this any any like vision problems. Uh, but like, I don't know if you were watching me play this level the other day, but I was like pissed. I would just kept falling. And a lot of people <laughs> rage quit after a, a time. <laughs> yeah. What I loved about, oh, I wanted to mention this as well. In the tutorial, I felt like Tony Hawk was more expressive. Yeah. Because, and it, it kind of reflected real life. Because he would fall, and then he would like, you know, clutch his back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and and the way he would like get up and. 
and like sh- I don't know, like just the mannerisms of him like recovering after a fall. Yeah. It's just like, yep, I can feel that one, bro. <laughs> like I, where's where's the thirty over club? Like it's time to take your ibuprofen because everything hurts. I feel always. bad for him because yeah, he's he's broken so many things. Like I don't know how that guy like keeps it up. I mean, obviously he's an athlete and like he's his own. Creature, whatever. Some creature. I don't know how to explain it. Like, <laughs> not of this world. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. He's just a super athlete. Um, what is it? Yeah, like I was watching a video. I was telling you about this right now. Um, with him and his son, and they were skating this old water park, and he totally just destroys himself on, on like a trick and and they just like focused on him for like two minutes just like writhing in pain on the floor <laughs> I'm like oh, poor Tony <laughs> like it's, it's not fun <laughs> like he's just like ow <laughs> yeah it's like in any sports tough like I have a sprained ankle injury that still hurts, like, from when I played softball, and I'm just that like... That was, like, forever ago. Yeah, no, that ankle still hurts. Jeez. Oh, it's nighttime. Is it, or is it just me? Oh, it's me. I don't know. I don't think this day changes on this game. That would be so cool if they did that. Adaptive, like... <laughs> like day and night system. I think that's a little bit too extra, but uh, it'd be cool. <laughs> oh, I knew I was gonna bail. I didn't even do a trick. I oh. changed colors. Oh, because I, I. Oh, cause change color to blue? Yeah. Or my color. Oh, okay. Oh, you stole a piece from me. <gasps> I got. I got. I got to take it back. Oh, geez, shit. You're still gonna beat me. Calm down. No, I need to win. I have to win. Bob Burnquist ripped, tore me apart. <laughs> All right, we'll do horse. In a different way. Yeah. How about Downhill Jam? No. Uh, which one sounds good? Let's do the warehouse. Yeah, we haven't done warehouse. And that's the classic. That's the classic one. Oh, I should have put my. I should have cracked my hands closer to the mic uh, for all those people who enjoy that I, sound. I hate that stuff. My, my, um... Do we want to change the word? Horsey pie. Horsey pie. Whore. Horsey... Poop. Poop. Horsey poopy. Poop, poop, so we'll be here for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's, cut, let's just start it easy. So, see if you can get that. See if we can do a little kickflip. Oh, look at who's hot-dogging it now. Damn. You're gonna get like 2.5 million in one trick, so... I've done that before. Damn. <laughs> I wanted to wall wall I wanted to wall plant off of it. And I mistimed it. <laughs> wow. Hey, it's a good trick. It's nice. You gotta press X. Oh. Yeah, that's what that's I was disassociating. <laughs> I was imagining myself being a pro skater. Imagine being a pro skater, you just like break into places for for, for money. You can still do stuff like that. Oh, without wow. not for money. Wow, see what you did? You distracted me. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
somebody, I was, I was like talking to somebody and they're like, skaters uh, probably have it easier than most athletes because they, they're like their knees aren't as bad as other athletes. Oh. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? I've seen like, um... <laughs> still a 99,000 combo. <laughs> Good luck. I've seen, um, oh my god. <laughs> Uh, what have you seen? I saw- oh god, that was awful. <laughs> I've right. seen- I won't- I won't go like that. The thra I was watching the Thrasher's, um, King of the Hill show that they had on Vice. Oh yeah? And it was really cool, so they, like, basically go on the road, a couple skaters go on the road and they kind of, like, do all these different, um, challenges and thra that Thrasher sets up, Thrasher magazine. That's cool. And it's really cool, and, um, hold on. Yeah, gotcha, you gotta... Ugh, whatever. Oh, you were close. So, um, I was watching some of these guys, like, skating on, like, they're doing street skating at these random places, and some of them, like, the pavement is not even smooth. The, and they have like these weird kind of lot logistical issues with getting like a good run on yeah on like a, a rail going down right to grind yeah and it's like this really steep and intricate I don't know how to explain it but a lot of people were bailing on it and just like hitting the pavement over and over and just eating massive shit yeah just you know breaking shit and i was just like yeah and then people try to say this not like a, an actual sport <laughs> but i mean yeah it is <laughs> yeah stop beating me i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry but like you said, like no skaters don't have it easy. Think of how old some of these players are, and the or these skaters are, and then yeah, and then, like they have like a life of like oh yeah, like I was just listening to this guy. Um, his, his nickname is Jaws, and he, oh yeah, I he, saw him on the documentary. Yeah, and he um, the documentary pretending I'm a Superman. Go watch it. To advertise it now, uh, but like, he, what is it? Um, he he was like showing his like worst injuries, and so he goes on this like this like tank type thing, right? And somebody's like, "All you off of it," and so he, he it had like a little dip on like it was like a rectangle, but it had like a little dip on it, and so he uh, he goes in and. And tries it, basically hits the dip, falls off, lands his anchor, his elbow into his stomach, and and like knocks himself out. Like you just see him, like he is so gone. Like he's just walking around. Yeah. Like, like just gone. And they're like, dude, can you hear us? And he's just like, like glazed. And then he like talked about, like he didn't wake up. Like and or he didn't come to until like the ride home. Oh my gosh! And then uh, he he uh, he said the next morning he was like he like peed blood, and then it turned out that he like ripped his his like sternum or something. My God! No, his spleen. Yeah, he ripped his spleen, and then they said that because when his elbow landed into his stomach, he uh, ripped his spleen, and like he could have died. And I'm just like, why didn't they take him to the hospital immediately? Like, dude was like, you know, like out of it. I know. Oh, jeez. I'm a ho. There's some hoes in his house. <laughs> but yeah, like, just like when I heard, oh yeah, they probably their knees aren't so bad. I'm like, they're jumping off like 20, 20 feet jumps, you know, like, yeah, they're, they're, their knees hurt. <laughs> Oh, did I? Oops. I totally, like, forgot what your score was. You're a horse heap. Nice. 
12 so you're getting lives. you're getting decent. You know, once you once you start like getting a handle of this game, I think you'll be really great. Oh. See what happens when you want to show off. Well, I had a, I had to match your com or your your tricks, so. I see you now. I'm trying to get all good now. Oh, because I can do these tricks in this game, I can do all these tricks in real life. Yeah, that's how that works. That's how it works. Damn it. <laughs> wow, I wanted to actually like do a call a different combo. It happens. Horsey poo. Horsey poo. I still want funnel cake. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> really? <laughs> Sometimes I just gotta show you. <laughs> you could do that too. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Horsey poo. That's what we're gonna play it at. <laughs> Just doing one tricks. Sad skate. Wow. Oh, you would have beat me too. Horsey <laughs> <laughs> poo. I don't like how I have to keep pressing X. Me neither. Oh. Lid on his face. Have you ever tried to skate? Ever? No. I know how to rollerblade or roller skate, but that's about it. You know, I have a skateboard in my, in my garage. I could Let's crack it out. Let's try it! <laughs> that could be the next episode! Yeah. Maybe get face plants into the it's dirt. Two, it's like five seconds long. It would be really cool to try to learn that. I mean, I know how to ride a razor scooter. John? <laughs> well, how did you not do a trick there? That's what I want to know. I wanted it one even lower than that. Yeah, I'm just like, that was weird. You did a manual and then it just stopped. <laughs> You're a horsey poop. Yeah, so you're saying it'd be interesting to learn skateboarding? Yeah, I would be interested in learning. Yeah, I mean, I skated a little bit as a kid. How not, hard can it be? Yeah, not very good, but um, I think I landed a kickflip once. <laughs> but I wasn't like, I didn't do a lot of skating. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of like, this game has actually kind of wow. got me back into like, I, want to I always get like that though. Every every couple of like years, I'm like, I should try doing it again. And no, so. my new thing is that I want to get into uh, like biking. Like I see people going on these really cool long bike rides to the beach, like along the beach, and that's what I want to do. Have you ever heard? Um, there is a there's a biking club that like they uh, bike. In the middle of the night to the beach. No. Yeah, there. Like I had a friend who was part of it in high school, and uh, and I was like, "Oh, is it like the polar bear club?" And he's like, "No, it's kind of like that, but not really. But just a bunch of like like older people that that um, all they're just about is doing daily bike rides with groups, and they want to do it at night." Because, well, they're like, well, first of all, it's kind of dangerous to be biking at night because you just get hit by a car or something. So they decided it all would be kind of good to, like, group up. And, uh, but they would go on these long bike rides. And they're like, yeah, it's not something that a beginner should really go for because they're doing these things from, like, 
from like Eagle Rock to the freaking the other oh, side yeah. of, of Valet. I, I know people who <laughs> like biked from Eagle Rock to the beach, like up in Malibu, and I'm just like, damn, that's yeah. But I mean, it's cool, and they take frequent stops and stuff, and like along the way, and it looks fun. I want to do that, but obviously, I'd have to practice and train, and like, eventually, I'll get there, but. We live close to the Gold Line station. I can take the Gold Line and bike, and then bike from wherever, or yeah. take the train to Santa Monica and then bike around. Go to the beach, bike on the beach. Ain't no shame in that. Nobody has to know. I can look like I was biking. Sure, a horsey poo poopy. I thought poo poopy. <laughs> poo poopy. All right. I think that brings an end to our episode. We did a, you know, we did a have a fun. Tony Hawk experience got it all together, and well, that was fun. Uh, maybe when you get some practice, we can go back and revisit this game. Eh? Sure. <laughs> You're like never again. Never. Um, yeah, and I had fun. Like this was fun. Like, like talk. We didn't really talk too much about it, and then. Well, I mean, that's what video games do. You just like yeah, just talk about whatever. But I had fun. This is a the great game. game, and I want to play. I'm gonna actually harass some of my friends that have bought the game already to play me online. Yeah, that'll be fun. So at least I know that I can roast them. <laughs> I can show you all my tricks and get it. And in. just or have John play on my behalf. Oh yeah. And then, like, and then you just stay on like the headset. Be, like yeah, so they can be owned. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be great. So, we'll all right. See. So, uh, all right, guys. See you next time.